What's up guys? Today's video we are doing a Taco Bell mukbang because they have new grilled cheese nacho fries which look absolutely delicious. I've been really craving some Taco Bell so this comes at the perfect time. So it says the grilled cheese nacho fries are golden crispy nacho fries seasoned with bold Mexican spices and topped with seasoned beef, nacho cheese sauce, creamy chipotle, and melted three cheese blend. You can also get this with steak if you'd rather have steak than the beef but I prefer Taco Bell's beef so we're gonna get that and then of course we're gonna get some other items as well to make this a mukbang and I'm also gonna be sharing with you guys all about our big move which is pretty exciting hopefully it's as fun for you guys to listen to as it is for me to share but yeah I will see you guys over at Taco Bell thank you for choosing Taco Bell one moment and I'll be right with you. okay yeah no problem thank you Alrighty, thank you so much for your patience. What can I get for you today? Yeah, of course. Um, could I get the grilled cheese nacho fries with beef, please? You said the grilled cheese nacho fries with what? Uh, with beef. With beef? You got it. You want it regular or spicy? I'll just do regular. You got it. And then, could I also do a cheesy gordita crunch with a DLT shell in there? You sure can. And Mama. then, I'll do a two-pack of the rolled tacos, please. And you said a two pack of the roll taco? Uh, yes. What else for you there? I and mean, then, what type of dip? I mean, sauce to dip in? I'll do the spicy ranch. Alrighty, what else for you? And then, could I also do the cheesy fiesta potatoes, please? And a large dragon brisk drink, and that's gonna be it. You said the large dragon? Yeah, I think it's the dragon brisk iced tea. Gotcha, gotcha. And what, a, and what else was it there? Um, the cheesy fiesta potatoes. Cheesy fiesta potatoes? You got it. Alrighty, and will this complete your order? Um, I'll just do some hot sauce with that as well, and yep, that's gonna be it. Alrighty, and does everything look correct on the screen for you? Yes, it does. Alrighty, and would you like to round up to the nearest dollar to help fund children's education and growth today? Yeah, that works. Awesome, thank you for that. Alrighty, your total's gonna be twenty dollars even and we'll see you at the window. Okay, perfect, thank you. You're very welcome. Hi, how are you doing? Thank you. Thank you, have a good day. Alright you guys, we secured our Taco Bell bag. It smells absolutely delicious. I feel like we got so many good items for this mukbang. And then the grilled cheese nacho fries, they look really good in the picture, so I have very high hopes. I mean, I feel like you really can't go wrong with their nacho fries and any combination of loading them up. Okay, let's get parked. All right, you guys, here is our Taco Bell bag, and I also have my table today. I feel like the table is very much needed <laughs> for Taco Bell food. Okay, so let's see what we got going on in this big old Taco Bell bag. Okay, napkins, fork, perfect, lots of hot sauce, we love it. I believe this is the spicy ranch. We got our rolled chicken tacos, which these actually just came back today, I think. Cheesy Fiesta potatoes. Cheesy Gordita Crunch. I have been really craving a cheesy Gordita Crunch. I have not had one in so long. Mm, okay, that looks perfect. And then we have the grilled cheese nacho fries. Go ahead and pop this open, see what they look like. Oh, at first I thought it was a quesadilla, cause like, look. Doesn't that look like a quesadilla at first glance? Oh, oh wow. I guess it kind of looks like a quesadilla because the cheese is like a layer on top and it's been grilled down like they almost they must have made it on their grill they do look good though i'm pretty excited about those okay let me get this table looking a little bit better and we will dive into this food a few moments later all right you guys we're all set up hopefully you can somewhat see the food okay so here are the loaded nacho fries which i believe i already showed y'all i think i'm actually gonna throw some hot sauce on there but we'll try it without sauce first and then we have the cheesy fiesta potatoes which look absolutely delicious we got our rolled chicken tacos i really loved these the first time that they came out and then we have the amazing fabulous star of the show cheesy gordita crunch very excited about that i'm actually super thirsty because it's actually pretty hot today it's in the 60s but i think it's going to get up to the 70s because the sun 
The sun is shining. It's so hot in my car. I love this drink, the Dragon Brisk Iced Tea, I believe is what it's called, something like that. <laughs> It's so good. You guys have to try this if you haven't tried it before. I have raved about this in a video. Oh, it's a little harsh on the throat, but I mean, it's very carbonated. Don't let iced tea steer you wrong because it is a very carbonated drink. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with a rolled chicken taco and then we are gonna talk about the house because I got a lot to tell you guys so as you can tell by the title yes we did in fact purchase a house mm. these are so crunchy <laughs> So Gabe and I did buy a house together. We are moving together. We live together currently, but yeah, we are moving from an apartment to a house. We officially closed October 30th, which is very exciting. And we are still living in North Carolina. So the house that we bought is in the same state. <laughs> So we actually still have our current apartment until December 9th with us closing on October 30th. That's when we got the keys. So we do have quite a bit of an overlap between having the apartment and the house. We're currently working on moving our stuff over to the new house. The reason why we have the apartment for so long is I wanted to wait to turn in our vacate notice until we got the lender to like, I guess pretty much when they pre-approved us. Um, and we had to turn in a 60 day notice into our apartment, which was kind of long. We did buy our house directly from a builder we did not actually build the house ourselves so we didn't customize it or anything the house was already built and then put on the market by the builder but i actually really liked buying the house directly from the builder as opposed to like your average person selling the house because we were able to get quite a bit of seller credits from the builder um they actually paid for the realtor so well they paid most of it um so the realtor fee was 3% of the house purchase and the builder paid 2.5%, which equaled out, I think it was like 12,000 total. So the builder paid 11,000 and we only paid 1,000 to the realtor, which was really nice. These cheesy Fiesta potatoes are fabulous today but yeah the builder also gave us quite a bit of seller credits which was also nice and by seller credits i mean money that goes towards closing so they ended up putting quite a bit of money to our closing cost as for like the actual loan process and getting our mortgage that was definitely a challenge <laughs> like oh my goodness i never want to go through that again my biggest tip and this is kind of a known thing i guess definitely go through multiple lenders we ended up getting like opinions and rates from three different lenders one of them was actually the bank that we bank with which is a credit union and we found out that they're not really good to go through for mortgage, so we kind of crossed them off our list. The second one took forever to get our pre-approval to us, so we were like, if they're this slow doing this, like you want someone who's on top of it because there's so much back and forth happening between the buyer, the seller, and the lender during the whole closing process. So you wanna make sure that you find a lender that is on top of it and it is like moving quickly. So we ended up finding a lender that was pretty good. They were really like fast and on top of it. 
the one thing that surprised me the most was my income from YouTube really did not count at all towards our income for getting approved for a loan because I started YouTube back in 2021 which means I only had tax returns for YouTube from 2021 and 2022 and I really did not make any money from YouTube in 2021. And then in 2022, I made like a decent amount, but not a ton. I've made a lot of my money from YouTube this year, which I don't have tax returns for. And when you're getting approved for a loan, they look at your past two tax returns and kind of average it all together. So YouTube didn't even help me at all. So we just went off of our full-time jobs, which thank God I kept my full-time job as a recruiter. I still have that job, which definitely like secured this loan for us. So I'm so happy I kept it. So yeah, that's a big tip. Past two tax returns, that's what they look at. So because of that, we ended up having to lower our budget quite a bit because I was going off the impression that I was kind of doing our budget based on what I'm making from YouTube now plus um, our full-time jobs together. And we had to lower our budget quite a bit to meet, of course, like the debt to income ratio that the lender looks at. Honestly, I'm glad in the long run that we lowered our budget a lot because you don't want to be house poor. You know, it's nice to not be stretched thin on a house. Mmm. This cheesy gordita crunch. Perfection. But yeah, we, uh, we also, well, I didn't realize how much of a difference property taxes make. Obviously, interest rates are high. The interest rate makes a huge difference, but even the property taxes are crazy. So the county that we bought the house in is a more expensive county and we are going to be paying $500 a month just in property taxes, which I just did not realize. Like I knew we were going to pay property taxes, but I didn't realize it went into your monthly mortgage rate and they have to look at that with like your debt to income ratio and if you can afford that monthly payment. Of course, interest rates are terrible right now. I know that's like the big elephant in the room, <laughs> but I read a quote that said, you marry the house and date the rate. So obviously we're gonna be refinancing in the future. Once interest rates go down, we're gonna refinance, which my dad has refinanced his house twice now. I think when they first bought their house like ages ago, they had about like a 7% interest rate and now they're down to three or 4%. So we will definitely be refinancing for sure. I will also mention we did buy down points on the interest rate to make it lower. So basically what happens with buying down points is you pay an upfront cost to lower the interest rate. So for example, let's say you can buy down 0.25 of a point for $5,000. So for $10,000, you can get 0.5 lower interest rate. If you put in 20,000, you can get 1% lower. So instead of having a 7% interest rate, you have a 6% interest rate. Um, and I learned that's really only good if you, I guess, plan on having the house for a long time, I think. But also, like, I didn't want to buy down points because we are going to refinance in the future anyways. But we had to get our debt to income ratio to a certain amount for them to approve us. And one of the biggest things that was making it more expensive was, of course, the interest rate and the property taxes, which the property taxes you can't do anything about. The interest rate you can. So we had to buy down the interest rate. Okay, so that's like all about the loan process. I feel like that's probably the boring part. So hopefully I did not bore you to death there. I just want to give you guys useful information if you are looking to buy a house 
in the future or whatever. Um, okay, grilled cheese, nacho fries, 1010, amazing, I love them. Wow, these are so good. But yeah, the biggest thing I will say when you're buying a house is just try to get as much seller credits as you can. Try to get the seller or builder to put as much as they can towards closing costs. Um, try to negotiate with your lender. Because a lot of the fees that you pay during closing, you can actually negotiate with the lender we didn't really do that because it's our first time buying a house and it's kind of intimidating but i would say like be a shark when you're buying a house negotiate everything see how much you can get discounted and also ask for everything you possibly can to be included in your um offer on the house for example the house that we bought did not come with blinds and what we could have done was ask the builder to install blinds and include that for free in our offer that we were making on the house the big reason why I didn't think about it is because I didn't even really want blinds I want custom drapes which I still want but once we actually got into the house we realized how open it is and like how little privacy you have to the other houses <laughs> So just ask for everything you possibly can to be included if the house doesn't have it especially on a new build whether that's blinds if you want to upgrade to a gas range instead of a regular range we actually put an offer in on a house first that didn't come with a gas stove and we wanted one so they were going to upgrade it to a gas stove for free to be included in our offer but then we ended up getting a different house from the same builder so yeah just Try to ask for everything you can, because now we're having to pay for the blinds ourselves, which kind of sinks. Also, because we ended up lowering our budget, what we ended up compromising on was the space like around the house. We still got like the number of bedrooms and bathrooms that we wanted, and we wanted it to be fairly renovated and new, so we got all that. But we also wanted a lot of space and privacy and to not be close to neighbors, which was not possible with that budget. So we are in a neighborhood where the houses are very close together. Um, our yard is not huge. We do have quite a small yard, but it is fenced in, which is really nice. We're planning on landscaping it really nicely. We may put like a fire pit out there. Uh, we do have to put grass down or like grow grass because there was a power line in the yard that they couldn't build the fence over. So they had to get Duke to come move the power line. And when they moved the power line, the entire yard got destroyed and now it's all just like this red clay dirt there's no grass at all so so I think what we're going to do is like a combination of grass and tile with like a fire pit put in some bushes so we got to landscape the yard <laughs> which I'm pretty excited about. We also are changing all the light fixtures because the house just came with like builder grade light fixtures. So we're gonna change all the light fixtures. Eventually we wanna put plank flooring down in the bedrooms because right now the bedrooms are carpet. Um, what else do we wanna change? Because it's a new build, there's not really a whole lot, but there are some things we want to do. We want to do an accent wall in the bedroom, which I'm super excited about. I will show you guys eventually, like, of course, whenever we do it, all the changes we make. Um. I'm going to keep the accent wall a secret until we do it. I want to do, like, a whole, like accent wall renovation video because it's not just an ordinary accent wall it's gonna be super nice it's gonna be in the bedroom behind the bed so like an accent wall for the bed so that's kind of all the main changes we want to make light fixtures yard flooring accent wall yeah 
right now we're just working on of course moving and getting new furniture because a lot of the furniture we have now is either old or it just doesn't fit the vibe of the house the couch that we have is too small so i think we're going to give that couch to gabe's mom and we're buying a new couch this weekend which i'm really excited about i already got a new bed frame which is so nice we are upgrading from a queen to a king i can't wait to have a king bed <laughs> i'm just so excited for the decorating um i will be showing you guys the house <laughs> eventually once we're like officially moved in which will hopefully be by the end of this month because we're planning on getting a u-haul next weekend so right now we have everything that can fit in boxes over in the new house at our current apartment we just have our big furniture and like our bathroom supplies because we're still living at the apartment but yeah we plan on being moved in by next weekend i want to try to get some furniture in before i show you guys the house because i don't want it to just be like an empty house tour <laughs> i want to show you guys how we're decorating it and like the vibe we're going for But, um, I'm super excited. Also, whenever we get custom drapes in the house, I think it'll really transform the space. I love curtains. And in our current apartment, we never had curtains. So I'm like, we got to get some custom curtains up in this house because that will totally transform the space. We bought a fridge like two weeks ago and it got installed last weekend. I'm so obsessed with it. I have wanted a huge fridge basically my entire life because like, growing up, we grew up very modest. So we never had a nice fridge or even a big fridge. Um, the, the first time I ever got a big fridge was actually our current apartment and it's not even like big. This one that we got in the new house is huge and I cannot wait to use it. Gabe also bought us a washer and dryer this past weekend because the washer and dryer at our current apartment belongs to the apartment. So all in all, lots of exciting things happening. If you guys want to see updates in real time, make sure you follow me on Instagram um, because that's where I'm posting more live updates. It's hard to do a YouTube video because we don't officially live there. Well, we do. Yeah. I mean, we have the house. We have the keys. We just don't like, we're not officially moved in yet. So it's just hard to film when we're just trying to like move a bunch of stuff over there. So if you want more real time up to date updates, seeing the house, follow me on Instagram, but eventually I will get videos up of house content. Do you want to start a second channel for all like house content? Not necessarily a vlog channel because I'm not good at vlogging, but just like a channel based around the house and decorating, renovations, doing the backyard, maybe like grocery shopping and Gabe cooking because Gabe is actually more so interested now being on my channel if we do house content. He doesn't love the idea of eating on camera. Like that's just not really his thing. It's already hard enough being on camera. And then like you put eating on top of it. A lot of people, a lot of people don't like eating on camera. Um, so I want to start a second channel to do all the house content on because I just don't like uploading house content to a food channel because it just doesn't make sense. And the way that the YouTube algorithm works is once you are in a niche, YouTube really boxes you in. So if I start uploading house content on this channel, it's just not going to reach anybody besides like the 10% of you guys that want to see it. And I would like to reach people who are interested in house content that don't already watch my channel. And you just can't do that when your channel is in a completely different category on YouTube because their algorithm is just, it's just like that. Kind of, I don't want to go into the logistics of it, but you catch my drift. <laughs> Oh, 
So yeah, I think I'm gonna start a second channel for all house content so I can show you guys like decorating, renovations, also like Amazon favorites, Amazon home finds, stuff like that. I think that'll be fun. I am in my house era, you guys, officially. If y'all have been watching me for a while, you know I've been saying I wanna buy a house. I have been wanting to buy a house well, basically my whole life. I mean, I'm sure most of us aspire to buy a house. Of course, not everyone, but a lot of people dream of buying a house. So we finally did it. I love being in my house era. It is great. So yeah, I hope you guys join the journey of us in our new home. I can't wait to share it with you guys here on YouTube. That's going to be it for this video. I have run out of time and I'm pretty pretty satisfied but yeah I love you guys so so much let me know down in the comments what house content you want to see if you have any other questions feel free to ask me over on Instagram please drop a thumbs up down below and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys yeah.